All right, guys. Today, what you guys are going to do is you're going to do some handwritten notes on the different types of potential and kinetic energy. This video is going to move a little fast. So if it's too fast for you, it is okay for you to pause the video to accomplish the task before moving on to the next step. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. You're going to create a set of notes that looks just like mine with the different types of energy, the definition, and then a picture that you can use to help you remember this, okay? So to, before we get started, we first have to set up our notes. To do that, you're gonna need a blank sheet of paper. It must be blank on both sides. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and some markers or a pencil, a writing utensil of some kind. So the first thing we're gonna do is I like to keep mine long facing me and then the short ones on the side. You're going to fold the paper directly in half, like so. Okay, and I like to kind of crease it just to kind of give it a nice clean cut. And then open it up. Once it's open, you're going to take each side and you're gonna fold it to the center on each side. Okay, like so. So I should have a little column, almost like a book. Okay. Now in your notes, you're going on the left-hand side is gonna be potential energy. So you're gonna need five tabs, but on the right, you need six. So you need to take your scissors and you're going to evenly cut out the five tabs on the left, okay? So you wanna try to make it as even as possible. So there's one, this is tab number two, three, four and five, okay? I'm gonna flip it upside down. And now I'm going to do six tabs. When I have an even number, I like to start in the middle because then I know at least they'll be mostly even on each side. And I'm just gonna cut three tabs at the top and three at the bottom, okay? So you should have five on the left and one, two, three, four, five, six on the right, okay? Now I'm gonna switch this out for my other set. We're gonna go over this really quickly, okay? So on the left-hand side is going to be the types of potential energy. Remember, potential is stored energy. So I put that in parentheses up here. You have four types. We have gravitational, elastic, chemical, and nuclear. And then there are five types of kinetic energy, which we'll get to in a minute. Let's go over potential first. So gravitational, gravitational and potential energy depends on the object's position. The higher the object is, the greater the potential. Also, the more mass an object has, the greater its potential. So if I had a boss and it was on a little coffee table, okay, and it falls over onto the floor, it probably will not break, okay? It, the likelihood, it's less likely to break, okay? But if I had a Voss and it was on top of the refrigerator and one of my kitties decided to knock it over, would it uh, more likely break? Absolutely, because it's higher from the surface of the earth or higher from the floor it has a greater height to fall down, okay? Um, and therefore its potential would be greater. Now, if I had two vases and one was really light um, and the second one was very heavy, if they both fell from the top of the fridge, then the one that was heavier, which would have more mass, would also have the greater potential. So on this side, you're gonna type it or write, hand write in the notes that I wrote. And I want you to put a picture. You can either use my picture or you can um, come up with your own as long as it would work. Okay, the second type is elastic potential energy. My little tab here won't work. Okay, elastic potential energy is found in objects that are stretched or compressed. So if I have a rubber band and I'm stretching it out, I put these little dash marks to show it's being stretched, 
or if I have a spring and I'm compressing it, I'm pushing it towards each other so that when I let go of the spring, it goes, boing, okay, that's releasing its kinetic energy or re I'm sorry, releasing its potential energy. The third one is chemical potential energy. This is stored in the chemical bonds of atoms. So you're typically going to find your chemical uh, potential energy in batteries, food, the food that we eat, and then the cells of our body, okay? Because they're going to store that energy until we use it. And then the final potential energy is nuclear. With nuclear, the atoms in the nucleus will break apart through fusion. So I want you to think about the sun because the sun is breaking those hydrogen and all the other atoms that it has it, it through the process of fusion. So it's breaking it down all the way to the uh, nucleus and it's spreading that energy out um, away from the sun. And so what does it do? It travels in waves until it gets to planet Earth. Well, when it hits planet Earth, it's providing that energy, that stored energy to our trees and therefore our animals will eat you know, the trees or the plants, and we end up eating the plants or the animals that have ingested that energy. So it's all stored energy from one point to another. So those are the four different types of potential energy. Now we're going to talk quickly about the five types of kinetic energy. You might be familiar with this from elementary school. Remember, kinetic energy is moving. We have mechanical, electrical, light, Light is also uh, references radiant, thermal, and sound. So if I look at the first letter of each one, I'll get M-E-L-T-S, which spells melt. Okay, so we always want to think about melts when we're talking about kinetic energy. So mechanical en energy, what is that? Mechanical energy is the movement of objects. It could be a person running. It could be somebody using a hammer. It could be the roller coaster and the gears pulling the cart up to the top of the hill before it releases it. Those are all different types of kinetic energy for in the mechanical kinetic energy. And then we have electrical, okay? Electrical energy is produced by electrical charges. We typically see this as it travels along the wire, so it's moving into the outlet, which is what our devices are plugged into, and it powers our TV. The third one is light or radiant. They both are fall into the same type of category. Oh, let's close that one. So light energy is carried by light or electromagnetic waves. So the light bulb here I have turns on, and it sends these waves out through light. That's what lights our houses, you know, the street car, the street lights, um, buildings, so on and so forth. Your phone, when you use the flashlight, those are all different types of lights. And that energy is traveling through waves. And then electromagnetic waves is referring to basically something you guys are probably all familiar with, and that's a microwave. So if you think about when you put your um, popcorn or your food into the microwave, it's sending waves to your food to cook it, okay? And then those waves are considered kinetic energy. The fourth one is thermal. Oh, my little tab. There we go. Thermal is related to the temperature of a substance, okay? So it's going to heat up or provide heat that's going to move um, within the airspace above it and around it. Okay, so here I have a picture of my little pan on top of a stove top looking or a tiny little fire. That temperature, that heat has got molecules that's moving. And when those molecules move, as they heat up, they're going to move faster and faster and faster and faster until they're either released into the air um, and then they uh, get absorbed or transferred into something else within the atmosphere, or they would be released into the pot, which would heat up to cook our food, okay? We're gonna get into this more in about another week or two, but just know that this is one type of the kinetic energy. And then the last kinetic energy is sound. 
Sound is carried through sound waves. That's how it moves, okay? It goes through the waves in the air until it enters your ear, um, does its thing on its eardrum, and then that sends a signal to your brain so that you know what people are telling you, okay? So they're carried through the air, and I have a little picture of a goatee here just to kind of help emphasize that. All right, so these are your notes for today. You are expected to go through and create your notes just like how you see here. I do expect you to have them handwritten um, and with the definition on the inside and a picture of your choosing whether you copy mine or not, or not um, inside as well, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.